How's it going guys? JP here and welcome to day number four in my seven days of foreign horror. The film that I'm going to be reviewing today is Eden Lake from the year 2008 with the tagline of a weekend by the lake with a view to die for. So yeah, this is a film from the United Kingdom, uh, like I said, from the year 2008. It follows a woman and her boyfriend as they decide to take a weekend camping trip to the lake um, called Eden Lake. When they get there, you know, everything's good. They're just having a little fun. You know, they're in love and uh, they're just hanging out and across from the lake, a group of young kids show up. I, I would probably place them, you know, 14 to 15 range, uh, maybe a little older and, and younger, some of them. Um, and I, I would say anywhere from like 12 to 16 is probably the, the age range. Um, now these kids are basically assholes, you know, they're, they're these young hood type kids um, that are just being annoying and the husband or not the husband the the boyfriend decides to confront them they kind of brush him off and and you know basically talk shit and tell him to you know basically get out of here dude um nobody cares what you have to say um he decides to be the you know bigger man and just let it go um so they continue their trip and you know eventually their car gets stolen, and he's pretty pissed off at this, uh, he pretty much, you know, see, they see the, the, the kids steal the car, um, they end up walking through the woods until they find a campfire, which has the kids all around it having fun, having fun, um, he confronts them again, stuff gets serious when a knife is pulled out, um, and before you know it, these two characters are in a fight for survival against these, um, you know, teenager kids um now from that setup it you can see this going a lot of wrong ways like really kids are gonna you know do this to these grown adults and that's how i was feeling early on i was like come on dude you know you're, you're a grown man you you can uh you know pretty much knock these kids out um but they kind of you know through uh a, you know good storytelling and, and writing, they're able to create a scenario in which your male character is kind of incapacitated and, you know, um, there is a little bit of, uh, you know, suspending your disbelief. It's very minor. There's not a whole lot of these, these problems. Um, they handle it very well, but anytime you're dealing with, uh, a, a, a people trying to get away from, from characters in the woods, it's always going to be, you're always going to have to suspend your disbelief a, a bit because you can lay down in the woods and be pretty much hidden for days because woods are, you know, <laughs> a forest is gigantic and, and people um, can easily hide. It's and, and, you know, people, uh, the people in that are chasing can easily pass right by somebody laying under a log or, you know, next to a log or whatever. Um, so, you know, there, there are things like that that you're going to have to deal with. Um, but they're very minor, um, and there is some, you know, solid, uh, you know, writing that, uh, kind of closes a lot of these, uh, plot holes up, um, that you would, uh, see happening, um, you know, plot holes that you can easily see happening, uh, they kind of, uh, get rid of a lot of them through, through, uh, good writing. Um, so yeah, basically these kids, um tie up the uh, the male character and kind of torture him um, until, you know, um, the female uh, sees, uh, she causes a disturbance, uh, they escape again, and it's basically a chase from there then on. Um, now, oh, man, th this one is very, very good con considering um, how I was feeling early on. Early on, I, I, I was really feeling like I was not going to really like the way it went. I thought that I was going to see how it was going to go, and and I thought it was going to be all these problems, and none of that happened. I was so impressed by that. Um, you know, there's... <sighs> 
I, I don't even know where to start with with uh, how how good and and where the greatness comes from in this film. Um, I guess I'll start with the acting. I thought the acting was fantastic. You have this group of kids, and each of them kind of are their own uh, person. You have you have a younger one, and you have uh, the the of course the older leader one, um, who you can tell uh, based on you know some exposition later in the film, and um, you know. Uh, you know, just simple one line of exposition that, that is later you find out that this kid's, you know, a little harder than most of them, you know, probably spent some time in, uh, you know, jail um, of some sort, juvenile, um, and he's more crazy than uh, these other ones, and, and you, and it's not your typical gang leader crazy, this, this you, you, f it's genuine, this, this is genuine, um, and it's not just crazy. There's multiple layers to this kid's personality and his uh, his anger. His he's very um, angry, and he has this this um, you you can feel this uh, anger and and this attitude deep inside of him that he um, you know shows through his acting and facial expressions and everything. It's I think his performance was completely solid, man. It it, it really worked. Um, there's just these moments of um, where he's battling uh, internally with um, these uh, what's going on around him, and uh, the, the, there's there's a scene where um, a character I'm not gonna give away too much, but y you do kids do die in this shit, which is good right away. You know you know how I feel about kids dying in in horror movies. Um, I think it's necessary in a lot of horror movies, and uh, you know I. I it's not necessary, but I want there to be a threat that they can die. Um, and there's a character who actually kills a kid. And when they do it, you get the feeling that the, the, this kid deserved it. And you get the feeling that um, the character really was, you know, mm, they wanted to do it. And uh, when... You know, and it, and it goes for a little a long few seconds of of them kind of, uh, you know, almost not enjoying, but but um, taking it in what they're doing, letting their anger out when they when they kill this kid, and then it, it drags on for a few seconds, and then you see this remorse come over her face. Uh, I I guess it kind of <laughs> said who 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 kills the the kid, but um, you see this this remorse um, come over the face of the character and. Um, I just thought it worked so well because as much of a complete, you know, asshole and, and, and murderer and just, you know, uh, you know, bad person as this kid is at the end of the day, it still is a kid. And once that kind of sets in, I think, I think everybody kind of has that. It, it's very genuine. Um, the, the emotions that you might get from that actually happening. I, I felt like it was real. Um, and that that's where a lot of these uh, good points come in, is these performances. That, and, and just the, the, the way, the realistic um, look into this uh, story. Um, I, I, I was, it, was, it actually blew me, blew me away on how, how real it felt. Um, and they, they're they also not afraid to do whatever it takes to make this story go around. It's very um, hardcore without being exploitive. Um, and that, I think that's a very uh, important part of the, this film and, and how, it, how it works. It, it really does walk that line uh, very gently and make sure not to go into the world of exploitation and over-the-topness. Um, it, it stays uh, within the boundaries of um, being a serious uh, film. Um, and honestly, I was not expecting this to be believable based on the story alone, and it was. Um, there are parts of the film that, uh, you, you know, you are very angry at the characters. You're very frustrated at the characters. Um, and there are a few moments of like, ah, I can't believe, you know, why, why would you do that? But they're very minor, and I think that you're going to have those 
in these kind of films in general. And if you can get past a few of those, and and like I said, they do do a great job of of preventing a lot of those from happening that normally in another film would happen. Um, and I thought the ending was good. It was good. It, I, I didn't see it going down anywhere like this. Um, I think that this film definitely had, uh, you know, it it. It had what it needed to be. It had balls. It it wasn't afraid to do anything that it needed to do in order for the story to be told, and I love that about it. Um, it's a very very good film. I, it totally surprised me, especially for the first twenty minutes. I really wasn't thinking that I was gonna like it. Um, this is one of the reasons why I love watching horror films like this because. You, you just, these are the moments that make uh, sitting through all the crap and, you know, the mediocre stuff worth it. Um, this film was fantastic. I loved it. A 9 out of 10. Um, I highly recommend it. I thought it was great. Um, I think there's so much to it. So, yeah, that's my review on Eden Lake. Uh, $3 at Big Lots. Um, that is, that is one of my best deals probably considering the amount I like this film. Um, I'm definitely going to be showing this to a lot of people. This is one that I think everybody needs to see. So uh, see you guys tomorrow with day number five. Peace.